Hey guys, I'm Terry. And I'm Brian, and welcome to our initial review video of the Hardcore Hammers. And just uh, to be totally transparent, yes, Hardcore Hammers did send us these for review, but we are going to give you an unbiased review and tell you exactly what we think of them. Yes, and we've never used uh, framing hammers in our contracting business until now. Right. And we are on a job right now. It's uh, one of our electrical contracting jobs. It's a custom home. and. Uh, We've used these things, I guess, just a little over a week yeah, now. Yeah, a little over, over a week here. now we've been using them. And, and nailing boxes, blocks, having to move some studs around. So basically, we're framing with it, you know. Yeah. A lot of it's just nailing electrical boxes and whatnot. But we can give you an electrician standpoint how well they work. And they have changed our viewpoint on using a framing hammer for an electrical job. Yeah. We thought it, we needed a short hammer. Cause man. You know, getting in tight spaces and whatnot. Having that extra six inches of reach mm -hmm. really saves you. And just works really well yep so let's head upstairs we're going to do a little bit of work and show you guys how we use them let's get to it so i'm about to nail up recessed light here and this is a hammer we've normally been using it's got a metal uh, handle here and uh it's you know a good bit smaller than this hammer the hardcore hammer um we were kind of concerned this might get in the way doing electrical contracting we get in a lot of tight spaces with boxes between the studs and getting these lights up but we found out it does not get in the way at all. And actually this extra reach on this thing has been a blessing. There's a lot of things that has helped us be able to reach out there further and, and hit whatever we need to hit. Another great thing about this, these hammers over a standard hammer that you might own is <clears throat> if you look at the end of them, this has got a good bit more diameter than the other one here, the older one. And so it's a little more forgiving if you're off just a little bit this hammer is liable to glance off a nail where this one, not only is that waffle going to grab the nail, even if you're out to the edge, you're still going to hit that nail. If you're the same distance off with that hammer, you may miss the nail. So it's a little bit of an advantage. You've got more surface area on this uh, hammer here. So anyway, I'm just going to stick that bad boy right there and nail one of these recessed lights up. I already measured this off, so you can just see how the hammer works which it works great if i can get my light where i want it of course it had to be a messed up joist yeah it's kind of tricky you want to make sure your light's flush there but anyway whoop, it helps if you hit the nail but it <laughs> drove it in one punch get this thing straight here that one went in like nothing oh. Make sure I'm still square over here in the right height. Yep. There and hold tight. Okay. Works pretty good. All right, let's get in a fan block now. Alrighty, so we got a fan block up here, and you can see it's still loose. I hadn't hadn't nailed it down, and uh, that's typically what we have to do to get them in the center of the room. And we'll mount a box to it. You hit the studs every now and then. Joyce. Yeah, that too. <laughs> Those aren't studs? Good Lord. There is a hair on my finger. <laughs> two. And I generally put three nails in it because you can see it's twist. It's a little twisty there with just two. And I'll go and put a third nail in there. And that gets it to where it, it doesn't twist as easy. Drive it home, big guy. Yes, sir. Whoop. It helps when you hit the nail on the head. <laughs> oh, Lord. You're having camera shyness. It's okay. Yeah. No, what's normally I'm, what I normally do is put this hand here, steady myself, and get back. I'm having to stand here and swing like this. 
because you got the camera over there. <laughs> so it kind of messed me up. Uh -oh. Sorry about that. That's okay. Looking good. Okay, let's let's say for instance, I'm not out there right now, but if I'm in the garage, usually the ceilings are 10, maybe 12 feet tall, or even on the high ceilings, this house has got several different levels of ceilings and some of them are really high. Well, you're constantly picking that big ladder up, moving it, setting it down, climbing up there, and we've got wires running across, and they, they need to be stapled because they're hanging there. You know, they might be running from this side of the room to the other side, it might be 20 foot across, Well, you don't want that wire dipping down here. So you gotta go and staple it ever so far. So anyway, you wanna get as many staples in to hold that wire up as you can in any one place. And I don't have any staples on me at all. Doesn't, you got some? It doesn't really matter. The fact is, if I'm stapling and I've got this short hammer and I need to put a staple right there, I'm, I'm trying to get as far as I can so I don't have to move the ladder or climb up and down it as many more than I have to. So I'm reaching out here. Now, when I reach this hammer, that's a comfortable place. Now I'm having to flex my body and try and swing. And he's trying, to, he's getting in an unsafe position doing that. Right, because I'm leaning over the edge of the ladder with this shorter hammer. This longer hammer, I realized that when I was doing the garage here, I reached out and I thought I was going to have to stretch and I said, oh Lord, look at that. I'm still over the ladder, I'm still centered, and I'm able to reach as far as my left hand can go and drive that staple. It's worth its weight in gold because I didn't have to move the ladder near as much, you know. So there's a big advantage to a bigger hammer. We thought this would be cumbersome and get in the way. It ends up, it's saved us so much effort. Very well worth it for an electrician. I never would have dreamed it. We've always used these little dinky things. Good hammer, great hammer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we showed you guys a little bit of how we use these hammers out here on the electrical jobs. Let's, uh, let's head back to the shop and we'll go over some details of them and show you where you can buy them and all that jazz. Yeah, in the future, when we're building our houses, that's when we can really show the full potential yeah, of what we're gonna bad boys can do. Go very much in depth with these when yeah. we start building our houses. Something we didn't mention. What's that? There's a lot of times that there's nails, the carpenters or Framers, whatever, mm -hmm. uh, or other people leave nails hanging out of the studs oh, here and there. Man. And we go to nail our box up, and we have to either move a block, move a stud, whatever. We have to pull nails. This being a straight claw, I thought, mm -hmm. well, it's not going to have the leverage as one of those curved claws. Come to find out, because of this long handle, the effort to pull a nail with this thing, I had like several nails that where a stud mm -hmm. had busted off. It was, mm -hmm. it was nailed, was cut at a bevel, and so sometimes when it's toe nailed, you try to pull the block out and the nail stay in the wood. So I pulled a couple of the nails with this and a couple of nails with that other hammer I showed you. This hammer just popped those nails right out with little effort at all. Mm -hmm. The other one I was like twisting and pulling. Good hammer. <laughs> yeah, very Great. good. Yeah. All right, we'll see you at the shop. Yep. All right, so we're back here in the shop, and for you guys, it was a quick change in scenery for us. It's been a little over a month because we've been really busy, but it's a good thing because it puts money in your pockets. Yeah. But we can't say enough good about these hammers. Uh, from our experience so far doing electrical work, and we've done some light framing, having to move studs around or tearing out of blocks and then nailing in other blocks, just... Blocking for fans, you know. Yeah, blocking for boxes to blo block them over. Uh, we have to move a few studs around every now and then. Sometimes we have to add one or two, you yeah. know, just... If there's something we need that's supported, you know. Yeah, there's a, a lot of different instances where we've used every element of this hammer, and they have done a great job. They did a great job with the ergonomics on the handle. The straight claw has been awesome for pulling nails, and for, uh, like, earlier this morning, we were on a house, and I had to tear some blocking out in a wall, and it just tears it right out. There's no hiccup in it like with a curved hammer that i had before it took a little extra work to get it or curved claw hammer yeah. it took a little extra to get stuff out this just tears right into it and you'd think well this is straight you know i don't have that leverage that that curved claw has in between two shorter hammers a curve might be an advantage at times but with this longer handle you've got so much more leverage when you grab onto a nail and it's you know stuck mm -hmm. into a stud or whatever joist and pull the the effort to pull is so much less it just rolls right out of there than the other hammers we've been using you know that were shorter your standard claw hammer that most people yeah. would own you know and as these far things as, are long and yeah. as far as the size on them this is uh, an 18 inch hammer with a 19 ounce head and they weigh right at 40 ounces if you go with a waffled hammer or with a smooth hammer so they're identical unless you need the uh the waffle or the smooth and work really well we very are. pleased 
Yeah, we're very grateful for Hardcore Hammer sending us these, and we cannot wait to get into some actual framing with them and see how they work. We'll give you some more uh, feedback on them once we get into all of that. I'm dying to see what their axe will do. Yeah. It looks awesome. <laughs> yeah, they've got some nice hatchets on there, and uh, definitely look like they'd be great for getting out in the woods doing some bushcrafting or camping or whatever. For those of you wondering what these cost, the ones with the hardened steel core MSRP at about $79 and the smooth face MSRPs at about $36. Either one is a great way to go depending on your needs. And by buying these, you're supporting Small Business America instead of buying into the big corporate giants and you don't really know where your money's going. With these, you're supporting somebody who's supporting their family. Uh, we always try to support small business when we can. Mm -hmm. And also, if you want to stand out on the job site, these are your natural finish, but you can also get a gunstock finish, which is a little more brown, and then an ebony finish, which is basically black. And they've all, they're all really good looking hammers. And you can be really stylish. There. You can be really stylish with those. <laughs> yeah. Yep. The, 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 I like the darker handle, really. Yeah, the gunstock is a really nice finish. It's yeah. really, really nice. Yeah. All right, well, that finishes up this video for us. We hope you've enjoyed this review on the Hardcore Hammers. Be sure to hit that subscribe button below. Hit the bell next to the subscribe button if you want to get notifications when we post new videos. Give us that big thumbs up if you like what you see. Comment, share with your friends, and check back often. Have a good one, guys. Adios.